Yeah, Sorry, uh, uh, I mean, I'm just seeing that uh, this time you're calling from a different number. I don't know whether it's the issue from my side because what is happening is like I the call is going on and I would feel that you're listening and then automatically an overlapping call is coming from your end. Yeah, so I'm so this what happens is getting disconnected and then I'm trying to recall you. Oh, okay. And for me, it shows in the mobile that the call is still going on. The timer still goes on. Okay. <laughs> okay. Really sorry. I mean, I'm not sure. Yeah. So. Okay, I'm, no issues. I'm not sure till where, yeah, right. till, yeah, till where you heard. I'm not sure, but uh, what I was speaking about is like uh, uh, I have couple of web services uh, like you know related to the absence management, uh, like adjust time off mm-hmm. and enter time off, which has been utilized. Um, as the name suggests, like you know the enter time off would actually key in the fresh entry. Like you know once you uh, make those web services call and adjust time uh, off. Uh, would uh, like you know retro correct the existing entries in the workday for an employer now the de- this decision to you know which one to call off is based on the time of entry code how the genesis system is actually sending me so i have a ras call like you know custom report which would actually uh, which takes the uh, employee id in the parameter and retrieves you all the records so that you know you need to compare it uh, like, uh, with the help of hash table like you know you are comparing the records present in uh, within the system and then the incoming record and that's in where you make the decision how are you comparing this like where are you storing all these values in studio so i'm using the variable like hash variable and then uh, like you know you can actually just key in directly those data and compare it like you know because incoming record would be there with you right so uh, and you you are making a ras call at the same time to first load the everything in the system like uh, whatever is currently present for as a uh, as an employee record so it could be uh, multiple entries or it could be single entry what is existing in the system so how you get this data like from genesis sorry how do you receive this data from genesis yeah so each uh, each system like you know each integration actually we are using the middleware axway server so that's from the infrastructure okay. standpoint that the axway server is a middleware sister for system uh, server for most of the vendor wherein both the outbound file and the inbound file uh, we would receive or we would send it and uh, the external system since we are using the ssh authentication uh, so uh, each vendor has its own uh, respective user id like you know as part of the delivery mechanism uh, and they would pick up their file respectively from there and in case of inbound file the file would get placed out in the axway server and we would pick it up from there to get processed into the workday server so how you get this file in studio so they they are sending the file to the axway server and like you know since okay. so since from the workday standpoint like uh, uh, if you talk about like workday so uh, that file is available and if it's a scheduled run Mm-hmm. Can you see? Yes. Yeah. So it's a yeah. I can hear you. Okay. So that files gets picked up by the workday, and then we are able to retrieve that file to be read, and then to finally process it further. Okay. How do you pick? Hello, Pawan. Hello, Chandrasekhar. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. 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 Really sorry. Actually, like uh, since couple of days, there have been a lot of uh, issues going on with this network in my area. So uh, that's why. Okay. No problem. <laughs> No, it's just, so uh, we were talking about that pitchy thing. Sorry. So what I wanted to you know know from you that uh, whether this correction record needs to be done or not. Yeah. So I was mentioning that you know since it's a retro correction to a lesser amount, uh, if we make mm-hmm. the payment to the employee, we cannot take it back as in physically. So that needs to stop yeah. it. So that like you know we send a, uh, a retro corrected data and then send the uh, record again. Or probably an alternate way could be to have a ad hoc version of your PC uh, connector. and you can run this for a dedicated population by providing the suitable launch parameter and the workers which you want to pull in the data and then send it across to the uh, uh, vendor who is processing your uh, like you know direct deposit or the check for, uh, form okay mm-hmm. so uh, one thing like uh, can can we send future data records also in pg future data yes so they will you can send the future data but they will get only effective when their effective date comes into the picture i mean you are entering yeah that's fine yeah 
but we can send right suppose yeah. that like december uh, some right. record is effective right. in december because it it so depends on send, yeah because it depends on the organization if they have made a certain policy or probably you can think of like an incentive program where the company decides yeah. they need to pay shares to their companies like you know or to their employees so if the decision probably might happen uh, in the month of october and november but needs to get paid out as part of the december end salary so yeah in such cases mm -hmm. okay fine uh, so like coming to this uh, studio right. uh, so you have done some inbound uh, integration right 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 yeah so okay, can you like explain like what you have done yeah. here project yeah so in this uh, particular i mean there was a complex requirement uh, for the bida and this is related to the absence management wherein uh, there is a company in uh, us uh, called genesis which normally like you know uh, takes care of uh, have, they have their own portal wherein the employees would key in the leave related data and that leave information uh, it's not like you know in case of india employees we have annual casual or sick leave but that's not the scenario when it comes to the us employee they will have more complex leave like you know military Leaves, FMLA, and unpaid leaves. So, and at the same, uh, given a same range of dates, you, an employee can be on multiple leave types, like you know, which is separate from what the organization offers you. So, uh, as a part of the legacy system, Bayada employees used to key in that information in the Genesis system, and that uh, information is being sent from Genesis system to the workday of the uh, workday instance of the Bayada. So that needs to be taken care because it's a flat file which is coming from their system uh, on a, a regular a regular basis and uh, you need to load that file within your system. So there you have to like you know from a business uh, uh, requirement specification you had to cross check like you know a lot of combination whether a leave of particular type on a particular date existing or not. So whether the record incoming record is of a fresh new entry or uh, or it's a update uh, record. So uh, in those scenarios, you have to like you know uh, like you know uh, judge and use the uh, like you know uh, flow whether what what operation you are need to uh, supposed to perform. Okay. So uh, yeah. So how, how did you like technically how you achieve this? So obviously, yeah. yeah. So uh, you have to make the RAS call because ultimately, to get the data from the uh, workday, uh, you have to use the custom report, which you need to generate, which will pull the record based on the employees, like you know the employee uh, data from the system. And since the unique uh, ID, like you know, uh, uh, from the inbound record, you are getting the uh, the corp ID, the leave type ID, uh, the uh, like you know the date. And the number of hours in this particular scenario. So I had to use couple of web services, but the workday provided web services which were enter time off and the adjust time off web services. And these web services are part of the absence management uh, module. So uh, as the name suggests, the uh, enter time off would actually add a fresh new entries into the system, right? So and the adjust time off was using the existing time of entry code which would uh, first see your data uh, with the help of a custom report, which is a RAS called pull the data. And then it will like, you know, uh, 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 like, you know, then you would actually uh, decide whether you want to update it or you want to add it. Hello. Hello. Hello, is this Pawan Kumar? Speaking, who's this? Hey Pawan, this is Chandra. Hello. And, uh, we have an interview schedule at 3 p.m. Sorry, your voice is breaking. Uh, I'm Chandra Shekhar from NT. Hey Chandra Shekhar. Uh, yeah. So we had an interview at 3 p.m. for one day. It's fine, right, to talk? Right, right, right. It is the right time. You have three, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. Fine. <clears throat> So, um, let me open your resume. Sure. So, you're working in uh, the not not software. software, right? Bangalore. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, just just briefly about yourself, like uh, your overall experience and your workday experience and your 
basically day to day activities in work day right chandrashekar so myself pavan kumar dodi mitla and uh, currently uh, like i am working with the sonata software uh, private limited in bangalore and in totality i have got uh, around 3.9 years of experience out of which close to 3 years i have experience on to as a workday integration consultant so uh, like you know uh, prior to uh, like you know workday technology i was working on the testing platform as a test engineer so uh, like from the workday standpoint like you know the currently uh, like you know for the entire tenure of this close to 3 years i have been associated with the project external project client called biada uh, home healthcare uh, which is actually a us based mnc for providing the uh, like you know homely healthcare services uh, as part of this project uh i was actually involved into the in and out of the like you know the from the uh, like you know um, the design specification phase from to the development phase and also as part of the uh, quality assurance team so i have an in and out from end to end process of experience on to this uh, like you know their implementation for their own uh, enterprise level so uh, like you know starting from gathering the various requirement like you know which was they were using the legacy system and like you know onboarding those legacy system data on to the work day and then like you know uh, uh, building the uh, capabilities in the form of the both the uh, outbound and uh, inbound integrations and and then like you know moving on like you know stating uh, the like you know the testing part also which i was not completely involved but like you know i was since i had a background out of it so i was uh, partially involved as part of their uh, team okay fine so they were working specifically for bayana yeah so from the tech stack point of view if i have to talk about like you know my personal uh, expertise so it's been on to like you know the reported uh, designing uh, like you know starting from various combination of inter- integration development which whether it involved the custom report with eib combination or uh, like you know i have exposure to work on the core connectors uh, especially on to the pc side where i have like you know we are exposing uh, the uh, like you know the connector for them and then like you know work day studio as well like you know uh, like you know build couple of uh, in on integration for them okay so, so you have worked on core connectors right and i have see you have worked on pc and pick up also so primarily like you know uh, i have my focus had been more on to the pc because uh, there was a lot of discussion wherein like you know the uh, giving a preference over pc being the more robust than the peak of uh, so the one which i was involved was part of the uh, pc integration okay so earlier they had uh, pick up you mean no i mean uh, like they had the peak of which they still have it but that's for a different uh, purpose uh, which i was on part of it like you know because that was a small uh, again they had a, a like you know client vendor which they wanted or thought of like you know to have the uh, peak of version also for their implementation so they have peak of also and pichi also pichi correct uh uh-huh. Uh, but for okay. PC, but PC uh, they are primarily they are fo- uh, focusing on the scheduled as well as the ad hoc version of it because primarily for the uh, payroll processing standpoint like uh, it's been used uh, like uh, the PC stuff is uh, is something which they have been incorporating because ultimately the file goes to the external vendor for processing uh, the biweekly payroll or the weekly in case of uh, the regular employees or uh, the like you know contingent workers. Okay. Okay. Anyways, so so you have been working working in PC. Okay. Let's have one question from PC. Sure. Uh, like uh, say if suppose that there's one time transaction, one time payment for some employee, mm-hmm. and that has to that was uh, entered on you know 25th October. Okay. And it's a monthly pay period. And 25th October it was entered into the system, mm-hmm. and its effective date is 5th November. Okay, so basically it has to be uh, given to the employee on 5th November. Mm-hmm. So it is of say $100. Okay. Uh huh. So I just wanted to know, like uh, in the pitchy run, uh-huh. so it's a daily run basically. You know, the first run will be the first one for the month, and then it will be subsequent runs. Right. So 25th October when it was entered. Right. Uh, whether this record will be picked on 26th October or not? 
well uh, it's basically based on like you know when it is getting effective so uh, normally in a scenario if you have scheduled uh, on a daily basis like you know the pg run so only when this amount is effective it needs to get picked up so that uh, that processing can happen okay because you are so you are entering the future data okay future data there So it won't be picked on 26th October, right? 25th, no. And uh, will it be picked on 1st November? So, uh, what is your uh, PG run schedule? I mean, is it on a daily basis what you have scheduled? Because normally that won't be a scenario, right? I mean, if in case there is some ad hoc payments which needs to be made to the employees. Yeah, it's a daily basis. Mm hmm. So, so uh, like you know, if the cycle is ending and starting a new one on the first November, so then it will get picked it up on November first, so that the employee gets paid it as part of the fifth November. Uh, like, I mean, if he is supposed to be a liable to be paid on fifth November. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, suppose that they later on realize that uh, this has not to be hundred dollar, but it had to be ninety dollars only. So they uh, put a correction record there. Retro correction. And it has to. Yeah, and they they like they put it on like say on second what? So okay. they they so they uh they have entered it on second, is it? Yeah. Okay. So ah uh, so like will will this record will be picked on fifth? The effective date uh, stands fifth only. So. So in that case, uh, I mean, since it's a retro correction and uh, like you know normally if it is uh, like uh, so in this your case you are actually reducing the amount like from hundred it became ninety. For example, if yes. a, if if it is if it had been more like you know uh, from hundred it has been going fifty, then it could have been taken as part of the next cycle pay cycle because it's the extra amount which needs to be paid it out. But in this case, yeah. since we are restricting in, uh, so if it gets paid out, you cannot roll back, you cannot take from the employee. So you'll have to stand and hold on a uh, hold of that payment uh, so that you can retro correct it and send back the correct record onto the output file. So will this be possible? Can we send a such a record in? PC? So uh, maybe th uh, that's in where I said that uh, uh, normally, uh, like you know, as what I understand from the PG conceptually, is like we could have a ad hoc version out of it also PG, uh, which varies from the launch parameter, and that will actually help us uh, in terms of like you know sending the data only for uh, 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 like you know a dedicated population, maybe few employees with the ret uh, correct amount, like you know if you are doing the uh, retro correction in the system workday. Hello. 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 Yeah, somehow the call cancelled. Yeah, I still so, I don't know why that still call is going on. Uh, one second. Are you able to hear me? Yeah. 